Start with the default cube and create a new geometry node. Delete the geometry node input. Add a new curved spiral node, mess around with the settings until you get something tree-like, and change the rotation to something like 50. Now to make this into a mesh. Get a curve to mesh node and set a curved circle as the profile curve. Add a noise texture for some variability and a map range to control it. Insert a curve parameter, switch the colors on a color ramp, and combine with the noise using a mix node set to multiply. Now the spiral gets thinner towards the top. To make a pine needle branch, start with a cylinder set to none so we have just a tube. Make sure to set the radius to something small. Add a distribute points node and set the number to 250. Instance those points and add a grid to use as the instance. Make this thinner and look, well, like pine needles. Set the rotation with an align Euler to vector node and change the factor to 0.8. Realize your instances and now it's time for the tree. Same procedure, just bigger. Distribute points and instant those points with the twig we just made. Ah, way too big. Fix the scale. That's better. Fix the rotation and add a curve parameter to the factor. Now, up the number of branches, 300 or so. Add a noise texture and a map range node to add randomness to the scale of the branches. Add a capture attribute and index node so we can start texturing. Connect the attribute and name it something original, like tree. Now remember to realize your instances and time to texture. Mix a translucent and a transparent shader for a base texture. In the geometry node editor, add a set material node and choose the tree material. Add an attribute node and type in tree. Add a snap node to set to 9 and a white noise texture. Next, add a color ramp and choose some Christmas tree-y colors. Switch to cycles and add an HDRI for lighting. Then add bobbles, lights, tinsel, and a star, and hit render, and you've got a decked out tree just in time for Christmas.